Singapore marked a new milestone after unseating Japan's five-year reign as the most powerful passport in the world. Meanwhile, the United States continues to get weaker. Renju Modekilio has the news. The highly prestigious Henley Passport Index, which regularly ranks passports based on the number of countries their holders can enter visa-free or with visa on arrival, has just released its latest report, stunningly revealing Singapore's ascent to the top spot. In a monumental milestone, Singapore has officially surpassed Japan in having the world's most powerful passport, signaling a major shift in global passport rankings and opens up new horizons for Singaporean citizens. Singaporean passport holders now enjoy seamless travel to a record-breaking number of countries, granting them visa-free access to an extensive 192 destinations worldwide. This remarkable feat showcases Singapore's commitment to international relations and its growing prominence on the global stage. For years, Japan held the coveted position of having the world's most powerful passport and its citizens could travel visa-free to numerous countries. However, Singapore's strategic diplomatic efforts and extensive bilateral agreements have allowed its passport to surge ahead, granting its citizens greater freedom and ease to travel across borders. The Singaporean government's emphasis on maintaining strong diplomatic ties, fostering mutually beneficial partnerships, and promoting economic cooperation has undoubtedly contributed to this historic achievement. The Lion City's reputation as a reliable and respected global player has played a pivotal role in securing this new milestone. Prime Minister of Singapore, Lee Shin Lung, expressed his pride in the country's achievement, stating, This is a testament to Singapore's commitment to engaging with the international community and fostering strong relationships with nations across the globe. Our nation's success is a result of the collective efforts of our citizens, government, and partners worldwide. The news has been met with widespread celebration among Singaporeans who now have an unprecedented level of travel freedom. The new passport ranking not only enhances travel opportunities but also reflects positively on the nation's overall global standing and influence. As the world emerges from the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, this development is expected to have significant implications for tourism, trade and business as Singaporeans can explore a broader range of countries with ease. While Japan may have been overtaken this time, it remains a strong contender with its passport granting access to 188 countries visa-free or with visa on arrival. The competition between the two Asian powerhouses for the top spot showcases the increasing importance of passport strength in the context of global mobility and connectivity. Meanwhile, the United States passport ranked 8th with a decline of two places from last quarter. A skip report citing Annie Forsheimer, a former U.S. Department of State career diplomat, suggested that America's static state of affairs is likely to remain due to the lack of demand from the inside U.S. For a change in policy, the extreme political risk for any group or politician who unwittingly facilitates travel by a terrorist and the fact that tourism has surged post-pandemic anyway, even with a restrictive visa waiver program. She also said, and quote, Unfortunately, the status quo over time may well contribute to a decline in U.S. soft power if businesses struggle to invite partners to trade shows and meetings. Tourists encounter needless application delays and look elsewhere, and open xenophobia erodes the public reputation of the U.S. as a world leader. End of quote. As the world continues to evolve, passport rankings are likely to remain a dynamic and closely watched metric, reflecting a nation's global relationships and influence. For now, Singapore takes center stage, basking in the glory of its newfound title as the possessor of the world's most powerful passport. This has been Renju Modiquilio, SMNI News, Singapore.
In other news, another heart-wrenching gun violence tragedy occurred in the United States after a three-year-old toddler fatally shot his infant sister in California, further raising questions on gun control. A tragedy struck San Diego, California on Monday after a three-year-old toddler reportedly picked up a gun or gun and accidentally shot his one-year-old sister. According to the San Diego County Sheriff's Department, they received a call on Monday morning about a shooting at home in Fall Brook. The deputies arrived and confirmed that the three-year-old toddler had gotten hold of an unsecured handgun or handgun. His one-year-old sister, meanwhile, suffered a head injury and was transported to a local hospital. Unfortunately, the infant was pronounced dead at 8.30 in the morning local time. This horrifying tragedy or tragedy further raised questions on the alarming increase of gun violence in the United States. As of Saturday, America has reported at least 221 accidental shootings of children this year alone. Of this number, 78 has died and 151 were injured as per the or every town for gun safety, a non-profit organization advocating for gun control. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's visit to Saudi Arabia resulted in the signing of an executive defense cooperation between the two countries. From this, Saudi Arabia will be purchasing Turkey's most advanced combat drone to date. Erdogan arrived in Saudi Arabia on Monday as part of his three-nation tour in the Gulf region, which kicked off this week. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman welcomed the Turkish leader, who was accompanied by an entourage of some 200 business people. The defense ministers of both countries signed an executive plan for defense cooperation, which include the purchase of Turkey's most advanced drone, known as the Barkatar Ankinchi. Ankinchi, which is the Turk or Turkish word for raider, is a high altitude long endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle with heavy uh, firepower and is capable of performing air to air and or air to ground and air to air attack missions the ceo of turkish defense company baykar described the deal as the largest defense and aviation export contract in the history of the republic of turkey without disclosing the exact amount of the sale the deal made saudi arabia the third country in the gulf region to have purchased the turkish baykar drones after qatar and kuwait turkey aims to secure billions of dollars worth of foreign investments after Erdogan's visit to the region. Both sides also signed several memorandums of understanding in many fields, including energy, direct investments, and defense industries.